show that's about truth, beauty, freedom, and love, but also has a lot of fun, color, movement, dance, singing, songs that you remember, songs that are new, cleverness, but at the heart of it, tragedy and love. No matter your sin, you're welcome here. No matter your desire, you're welcome here. For this is more than a nightclub. The Moulin Rouge is a state of mind. I want to hand it over to someone, and not only hand it over to someone who's 35 now or younger now, but I want to trust them to take the fundamental truth of it, but, it, but also be strong and brave and do you know strong things with it in a response to the audience now. I was at a dinner party in 2013 and I was seated next to Baz for the dessert course and we were talking about Ken Russell movies and different sort of films that mash out high and low and history and now and... And I looked at this guy, been with him like half an hour, we're like, he is perfect. He's kind of me, a version of me when I was that age. I just said to him, would you like to do Moulin Rouge as a stage show? And he went like, yeah, so well, that would be good. Baz is such a virtuosic filmmaker, so he has, you know, he has whip pans, he has steady cams, cranes, like all, you know, all that frantic editing uh, that he makes so effortless. Uh, but we don't have any of that stuff on the stage. And so uh, finding our own theatrical vocabulary for the staging, for how the music and the tax work and, and the choreography, that's been the real journey over the last several years. And uh, we're really excited about where we've learned it. It's just been a life-changing experience of things I never thought possible in dance that I want to see on a Broadway stage has really been realized in a beautiful way. It was just great to see it through somebody else's eyes. It's just been a really nice thing to see something that you did so many years ago be reinvented and that it still has some meaning all those years later. Now, Christian, tell me, what is it we believe in? The first thing Baz said to me was, don't just put my movie on stage, make it your own. He liberated all of us to explore as artists and to find our version of Moulin Rouge that was true for us and true for this year and true for now. And I gotta tell you, in the production of the theatrical version of Moulin Rouge, the one opening in Melbourne right now, the new team, the younger team that's taken this notion, they've even gone further with the idea of quoting every possible song you could possibly think of and turning it into something new. We had, you know, the, the gorgeous score that's from the film and the opportunity to bring even more to it, um, to, to really sort of translate his cinematic style. Why else live if not for love? I am not. I am not. I am not. Mission. Quick. Quick. Welcome. If there was a song that we were really excited mm. about, we would pour over the lyrics and even pull uh, perhaps the second line from the third verse and have it follow the first line of the second verse and really stitch it together to serve the story and the character's emotional life. The audience was incredibly diverse and it shocked me the kind of communal reaction to the show. Everyone would be getting excited and then people would stand up or gasp or guffaw or clap. It was very interactive and I started to feel the rolling excitement. This is this, this, this baby that they created. It's, it's, it's their masterwork. And just to think about how gracious and constructive and encouraging they were uh, was just really gratifying and the, the ongoing relationship has, has, I think, been essential. I think Moulin Rouge is a show that can and will be interpreted many different times in many different ways in many different places. And I absolutely know, I've already seen it with my own eyes, an interpretation of the lead characters that have, that have taken a cue from the film but the actors have made it their own, and that is so gratifying and exciting. Oh my Hi. God! Oh, it's really such in and Christian! Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're like that, look at each other. That's good. Oh no, you look great together. There's a kind of um, romanticism in both of, of the leads, but also a kind of cheekiness, an Aussie cheekiness. So I'm really thrilled to see how that plays out, but 
I think they've done a great job in finding the right people. You do feel that you've escaped into a world and you come out the other end, having been washed, I think, in humanity. There's a feeling of not being so alone. Congratulations, they've done an amazing job and they deserve their Tony nominations. The only problem is that I, my phone is blowing up because everybody wants a ticket. I'm gonna have to change my telephone number. Hey!